Hey there, it's Melody Yan here, and today I'll be discussing creative optimization tactics for Facebook. With 1.7 billion active monthly users and advertisers spending 17 billion annually, Facebook is one of the top platforms to advertise on. It's one of the most effective channels to reach highly targeted audiences in a non-intrusive way, with click-through rates that are eight to nine times higher than normal web ads. To get a phenomenal return from Facebook ads, one factor makes or breaks your success. Good creative. Creative is the biggest driver of ad performance on Facebook. In fact, the effectiveness of your ad creative and the cost of your Facebook advertising are directly correlated. So what does effective Facebook advertising actually look like? The key to creative optimization on Facebook is to create the best ad for any given audience. If you segment your audiences, tailor messages to them, and keep your content fresh, Facebook will reward you with fantastic ROIs by automatically helping you discover what works best. The first step in creative optimization is audience planning because finding the best media and creative pairings is the key to getting great performance. When it comes to creative, who you are targeting is as important as what you show them. The goal is to define how you are using that targeting data and what outcome you are seeking. This allows you to frame your objective in the context of the audience. As you configure your Facebook ad sets, you want to set up meaningful clusters of customers within your broader targeting. These are groups that might vary in their response to your marketing messages. To better understand your audience, you can use Facebook Audience Insights. This free tool allows you to create a custom audience and then explore the targeting data within it. With Audience Insights, you can discover previously unknown qualities about your target audience, find meaningful opportunities to subdivide your ad sets, and get ideas for characteristics and interests to inform your creative content and positioning. After you've defined your audience, you'll want to tailor the ad messaging to your different audiences. To achieve high-performing Facebook ads, consider these four main elements. Objective-driven. The goal of the campaign must be at the core of the creative. Make sure the creative isn't just good, but that it will drive the intended action. Fresh. Facebook typically penalizes stale ads three to 10 days after launch. Always refresh your creative every one to two weeks. Tailor to the audience. Ads that thrive on Facebook must be as relevant to their audience as the other content in a user's newsfeed. And lastly, optimize image and copy. Test variations of copy and imagery. Facebook automatically optimizes ads within ad sets, making this an easy win. For message tailoring, you'll want to focus on these four key areas. Imagery. Choosing the right photo or video for an ad is the bread and butter of creative optimization because images increase engagement by 94%. Try advanced tactics like including or excluding branding or testing styles of images such as edgy vector art or photos with filters for millennials. Benefits. The way people relate to your brand varies by group. Appeal to these specific nuances while staying true to your brand's ideals. For example, someone might appreciate a luxury auto brand for the elite status it gives them, while others may be interested in performance or even the craftsmanship of the vehicle's details. Word choice. A good rule of thumb is to use the words that your customer uses. Test variations in copy, sentence length, and call to action. Mine any resources you have with first-hand customer feedback and reuse expressions you find in your copy if you can. And lastly, the unknown. What else about your targeting should influence the creative? Move past easy-seeming tailoring targets like age or gender and drill into other parameters that define how your customer acts. Since Facebook makes it so easy to test and learn, when you have a hypothesis, don't hesitate to test it in the creative. And finally, here are 11 best practices to optimize your Facebook creatives and videos. For creatives, keep it simple. Be wary of the length of your ad copy, especially on smaller screens. If a user was casually scrolling through his or her newsfeed, would they immediately understand and be inspired to take the desired action? Use different content for desktop and mobile placements. Vary the messaging across desktop and mobile ads. Consider using different calls to action, 
images, and make sure your messages aren't cut off on mobile devices. Tell a story in carousel ads. Stitch pictures together to tell a story through carousel ads. Connect users with relevant content to keep them engaged as they swipe through each image. Better yet, tell multiple related stories over time to the same audience as you refresh your carousel ads. Use pictures with real people using the product. Instead of using images of your product alone, show an action shot with a person engaging with it. This creates sensory currency which will help make the ad more relatable and help users better visualize using the product. Use vibrant images that pop. Capture attention from your users with vibrant, high contrast colors. Create visual excitement so that your ad stands out to potential customers as they're browsing through their feed. Use an image with a lot of the same color. While you want to use vibrant colors to grab attention, too many colors may distract the user from your message. Use color schemes that complement each other. Change the aspect ratio of your image or video. For better visibility and to ensure your ad always looks high quality in Facebook's newsfeed, adjust the aspect ratio to fit the specifications. For video, optimize the copy surrounding the video. Test various ideas for the content, for example, trying out different introductions or the length of the copy. It doesn't cost you nearly as much as editing the video itself. Always have a great thumbnail. The thumbnail is the very first impression of your video. Select a thumbnail that both offers a compelling snapshot of your video, but also drives viewers to click to learn more. Jump right into action. The first two to three seconds matters tremendously. A study by Microsoft found that the average attention span is eight seconds, which is shorter than a goldfish. A common mistake is using credits, logos, or intros at the beginning of a video. And lastly, always use text overlays. As high as 85% of Facebook videos are watched without sound. Provide captions for spoken content to make it easy for users to watch your video without requiring them to turn the sound on. If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more expert Facebook creative tactics, download Thunder's Playbook for Facebook Creative Optimization, which is a free resource that includes everything you learned in this video, plus more. You'll learn additional actionable insights that will help reduce your costs, protect your ad delivery, and increase campaign performance. See the download link below in the description. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about Thunder, please visit makethunder.com.